How do you study? Do you find your current methods effective? It's a question that is especially pertinent for those in the medical field where the volume of information can be overwhelming. Effective study techniques aren't merely about cramming information, but about understanding and retaining it. They can make the difference between merely surviving your studies and truly thriving. So if you've ever found yourself questioning your study habits or looking for more effective ways to study, you've come to the right place. Today, we're going to dive into the top five study methods that medical students swear by. We've got active recall, where you test your memory during your study sessions. Then there's spaced repetition, which involves spreading out your study sessions over time. The Feynman technique makes you teach a concept in simple terms, while the Pomodoro technique uses timed intervals for focused learning. Lastly, mind mapping helps you visualize the information in a structured way. Let's delve deeper into each of these methods. First up, active recall. This method is all about actively testing yourself instead of passively reading. Active recall is when you quiz yourself on the material you've learned. This can help to strengthen your memory and understanding of the topic. Now let's talk about spaced repetition. It involves revisiting the information at increasing intervals over time. When used in conjunction with active recall, it can reinforce your memory even further. These two methods combined can significantly improve your retention rate. Moving on, we have the Feynman technique. It's a method that requires you to teach a concept to a novice. Imagine explaining a complex medical theory to a five-year-old. Simplifying the concept to its core helps you understand it in a way that's both clear and accessible. Moreover, it reveals gaps in your knowledge that you can then fill in. Next up is the Pomodoro technique a time management strategy. Here's how it works. You break your study time into 25 minute intervals separated by short breaks. These intervals, known as Pomodoros, allow you to focus intensely while also giving your brain time to rest and absorb the information. By using these techniques, you'll not only understand concepts better, but also manage your time effectively. Last but not least, let's explore mind mapping. It's a visual method to organize information. At its core, mind mapping starts with a central idea or concept and branches out into subtopics, creating a web of interconnected thoughts. This method is particularly useful for visual learners, enabling them to see connections and relationships between different pieces of information more clearly. To use mind mapping effectively, start with your main idea in the center, then add branches for each related topic. From there, create sub-branches for more detailed points, this way, you can visually organize and structure your thoughts, making it easier to recall information later. By using mind mapping, you'll be able to see the bigger picture and link concepts together.